In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at adding some realistic drop shadows to subjects that have been cut out via green screen. In this case, we have a model here that was shot against a green screen. We've masked her out, and we've placed her into this kitchen scene. By adding a realistic shadow, it makes her look like she's part of the virtual set. So let's get started. Okay, so what we have here is a basic scene with two layers. The top layer is our talent. It's a model that was shot against a green screen, and we just masked her out scaled her down to fit into the size and proportions of the set below. In this case, it's the kitchen. So our goal here is to take the talent layer and turn it into a shadow that looks realistic against the floor to make her look like she actually belongs into the kitchen. So how do we do that? Well, it's very easy. You take this top layer and you're going to duplicate it. There's a couple ways you can do that. You can take the layer, click and drag it down to the new layer icon down here, let go, and what you'll see is a copy of that layer named copy. There's another way that you can do this. I'm just going to delete this here. Make sure the layer is highlighted. Go to layer and duplicate layer. This gives you the added benefit of being able to rename it before you duplicate it. Let's go ahead and name this shadow. Okay, now that we have our shadow layer created, we're going to make sure that it's highlighted in the layer palette. And we're going to fill it with black. Do so by going to edit choosing fill from the drop-down and ensure that it says black here in the use and that we have preserve transparency checked. If we don't check that, I'll show you what happens and we click OK, it's going to fill our layer with black covering up everything. So let's undo that. Let's go back to fill. Let's choose preserve transparency. And When we click OK this time you'll notice that all the opaque pixels in that layer were now filled with black, but the transparent pixels were left alone, which is what we want. Okay, so the next step is to take this shadow and move it behind our talent layer by just dragging it below. And now we're going to alter a few things on the shadow. First thing I want to do is go ahead and distort the shadow by placing it down here on the floor and making, making it look like it came from an actual light source. The way we do that is make sure that the shadow layer is highlighted. Go to Edit, choose Transform and Distort. You'll see some handles here so that we can alter our shape. Drag this top middle one down, straight down, straight as you can get it, until we get the size on the floor that we're looking for. And that looks about good right there. Now, I can go back to the Transform command with the Edit transform and I can click on skew and this gives me a little different operation above this middle one I get these double arrows and I can just slide her evenly over to the side here all right that looks good so let's go ahead and commit those changes by clicking the little check box up here or okay a couple more things now we're just going to want to uh, change the opacity I can either double click in here and type in a number or I can use the slider okay I like typing in a number so let's just type in 35, it's about right. And we're going to add some blur to give it some more realism. So as long as we've got the shadow layer still highlighted, we can go to Filter and choose Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you can click and drag the little hand in here until you find your shadow so you can get a real-time feedback. I choose a setting of about 3 radius. If you go down in size on the radius, you'll notice that the sharpness comes back on the shadow, which doesn't look very real. Of course, you can change this to your own liking. All right, let's go ahead and go to about 3. Looks good. And click OK to commit the changes. And there we have it. We have our model placed into a virtual kitchen set. It looks like the shadow is coming from the uh, lighting that was used to actually photograph her. And kind of blends in with the set nicely. So we hope you like this tutorial and we look forward to seeing you again. Take care.